Hey, welcome back. I'm going to do some MTA Maximum Time Aloft. This is my favorite event. I'm really good at this event, and that's not just the only reason that I like it. It's just a lot of fun to do. You throw a disc in the wind, aiming into the wind, and you're trying to catch it with one hand. And so time starts when you release the disc, time stops on the first point of contact. So it's preventing you from tipping the disc and gaining extra time. So as soon as it hits your hand, time stops. Okay, so ideally you want to catch it clean. You really don't want to try and tip it because you increase the chance of dropping it. Ideally, you want to try and find out where the wind is coming from. That's what grass is best used for. So if the wind is coming from that direction, I call it 12 o'clock if you think of a clock. For MTA, I want to throw it at about 11 o'clock. So the goal is to throw it with a slight outside in or anhyzer at 11 o'clock and it's going to flip flat hopefully as close to the apex as possible, right? I want it in the air as high as possible so it starts to tower and then it's going to start to float down back to the ground. Okay, if I don't get that flip, right, it's going to come back a lot more quickly. So ideally I have a little bit of edge on it, a little bit of turn, it flips flat, starts to tower and then slowly floats back down again. So you want that shelf as high as possible. Okay, you're almost thinking of throwing it not just straight up, but you're thinking of throwing it over a hill. That'll help you with the throw. So MTA is not just straight up into the wind and back. You actually want to get some movement on it. So again, I'm going to try to throw it up in the air at about 11 o'clock if the wind is coming at 12 and have it try to ride the wind and gain maximum time. The goal is to try and get a, the wind is not, not bad. The goal is to get a, some 12 second throws.